Hey y'all, it's Dawn, and I'm so glad you're back. I've got another fun, budget-friendly DIY video for you today. Today's video is part of the 12 Days of Christmas Ornaments playlist, hosted by Mimi from Crafting in Mimi's World and Melissa from Melissa Makes It DIY. You'll find links to both of these amazing crafters along with a link to the playlist in the description. Now for the first DIY. I've had this macrame cord in my stash for a while now. I got it from Amazon and you can find it in my Amazon store. The link is in the description. I decided to make some Christmas ornaments with it. For the first ornament, I used a book ring from Dollar Tree. I made a slip knot by wrapping the cord around two of my fingers and pulling one end through the hole. I inserted a crochet hook through the center of the slip knot. The crochet hook I'm using is a size 5 and I think I got it from Walmart, but you can find them on Amazon also. I began by placing the hook through the center of the ring. Pulled the cord around the ring. Hooked the cord from my left hand and pulled it through the slip knot and pulled it tight. I continued working the stitches around the entire ring. I pulled the working string under the ring through the center and then through the loop on my hook. I made sure to pull each stitch tight before moving on to the next stitch. After I had a few stitches on, this is the pattern I had. See the small V's around the rank? I continued crocheting around the ring until it was full. To create the cord at the top, I continued with the same stitch, but worked my way up instead of around the ring. I made a small bow using the macrame cord. And hot glued it to the front of the little ornament. And just look at how cute both of these little macrame wreaths turn out. For the next ornament, I cut several pieces of macrame cord at 12 inches long and used another ring. I folded the cord in half, fed the loop through the ring, placed the tails through the loop, and pulled it tight. I continued doing this until the entire ring was covered. I pulled two of the loops, four strings out. I crossed the rightmost string over the two center strings to create what looks like a figure four. I then pulled the leftmost string over the end of the figure four, pulled it under the end of the four, and then through the loop of the four. I pulled the knight tight, 
making sure my two center strings stayed straight. Let me show you that one more time. Take one string, place it over the two centers. Take the other string, place it over the figure four. Pull it under all of your cords and through the loop. And then tighten it up. I did the same knot all around the ring. I had two strings left. I tied a knot in them so the ornament could be hung. I created another row of knots using four strings. I crossed the left string over the two center strings, creating a figure four. With the rightmost string, I placed it over the top of the figure four, under the figure four, and pulled it through the center of the figure four. I pulled it tight. With the leftmost string, I did the same thing, but used a reverse figure four. I made these stitches around the entire ring. For the larger snowflake, I did the same as before, but added another row using the figure four twice. I decided to untwist the cord at the ends and then trim the snowflakes until I liked the way they look. For the angel ornaments, I use these wood angel wing cutouts that I got from Amazon, and you'll find a link to my Amazon store in the description. I cut a piece of the macrame cord and laid it to the side. I then wrapped the cord around my hand several times to create a tassel. Once the cord was the thickness I wanted, I placed the cord I had cut through the center and tied a tight knot. I cut off the cord and then cut the tassel cords in half. For the head of the angel, I used a 20 millimeter natural wood bead and another piece of cord. I fed the cord through the hole in the bead and tied a knot at the top. I added more hot glue to the inside center of the tassel and placed the angel wings by pushing them into the hot glue. I placed more hot glue at the top of the tassel and attached the angel's head. I 
untwisted the cord and tied another piece of macrame cord under the wings. I then trimmed the bottom of the tassel. I made another tassel but used longer cord and after untwisting the cord, I brushed the tassel out. I attached everything together the same way, and then my camera died. I think both the angels turned out so stinking cute, but in my opinion, I like the longer tassel one better. Let me know what you think of these cute macrame ornaments, and if you'll be giving them a try. If you found me through the playlist, I hope you'll consider joining our little family by hitting the subscribe button and leaving me a comment. Merry Christmas. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see y'all next time. Happy crafting.